When an emergency happens, who do you call? Well, the answer is 911. This week is National Public Safety Telecommunications Week. In Cutbank, there are a special group of ladies working as dispatchers around the clock to serve the community. MTN's Paul Sanchez has more on these forgotten heroes. 911, what's the location of the emergency? Who do you remember during an emergency? The police officer, the fireman, or the EMS that took you to the hospital? Well, how did those individuals get to you? The 911 dispatchers. Here are some words from these dispatchers and what it means to be there in your time of need. I think a lot of people forget that there is somebody who takes a call and gets you that help. So they don't necessarily think of us as first responders per se, even though we are the first responder. You know, we're first. It's such a vital job and an important job in all communities across the country. I feel my job is important. It's a vital necessity in a community. We are not only there to help the members of the community, but we also stand as a lifeline to our officers, our responders, firefighters in the streets that are responding to the calls we send them to. These dispatchers work a 12-hour shift answering vital 911 phone calls. It's very demanding and stressful, taking life-threatening calls that could save the life of a family member or yourself. Besides being overstimulated and stressed and exhausted some days, I feel that it is a very rewarding job. At the end of the night, at the end of your shift and all your responder shift, when everybody goes home safe and to their families, it's above all else just a rewarding feeling. I enjoy the challenge and not knowing what I'm going to walk into every day when I enter the building. So next time you run into a dispatcher while getting a cup of coffee or just running around town, let them know just how much they have meant to you and your community. Our law enforcement officers and emergency responders appreciate them in ways that they can't imagine and oftentimes they're not, they're not told. They're not, that the appreciation isn't expressed as often as it should be. It's really good to be appreciated, especially by our peers, which would be our deputies, our uh, city police officers, our EMS. It's nice for them to come in or give us a call and be like, hey, thank you for what you do. Um, you know, because without you, obviously, we, we, we wouldn't be able to service the community as well. So it's nice. It's like a good pat on the back or a good hug. I enjoy it. It's a good week. For MTN News, I'm Paul Sanchez.